Betty Bone Sheese April 2, 1923 to October 20, 2017, was an American Episcopal priest. She was one of the first female Episcopal priests in the United States, and a member of the Philadelphia Eleven, leaders of the movement to allow the ordination of women in the American Episcopal Church. <laughs> Early life and education Betty Bone was born on April 2, 1923 in Cincinnati, Ohio to Leah and Evan Bone. She attended Hillsdale College Preparatory School where she was president of the student body in her senior year, p. 7. She then attended the University of Cincinnati and was the chaplain for Tri Delta, p. 8. Bone earned her B.A. in 1945. After graduating, she worked in the personnel department at Wright-Patterson Field, pp. 8-9 Bone earned her master's degree in 1947 from Syracuse University. She married William A. Sheese the same year and lived with him in Algiers for several weeks. She later wrote that they returned from their travels determined to do something about the plight of the Negro. They took part in demonstrations and marches in the southern United States, pp. 158-159 During the late 1960s, Sheese worked with the Syracuse National Organization for Women chapter to reform the Episcopal Church. She earned her Master of Divinity degree in 1972 from the Rochester Center for Theological Studies, but was denied ordination due to her sex. In 1974 the Episcopal Church did not allow women to be ordained, efforts at two general conventions of bishops had failed. She's credited Betty Friedan's 1965 book The Feminine Mystique and the foundation of a chapter of the National Organization for Women in Syracuse with inspiring her to pursue priesthood and change in the Episcopal Church. <laughs> Ordination. Sheese and ten other women, later known as the Philadelphia Eleven, were ordained in Pennsylvania by a group of retired bishops on July 29, 1974. Emily Hewitt, a friend of Sheese's from the Episcopal Peace Fellowship had asked her to join the group, p. 145 The ordainments were irregular, meaning that they would need to be approved. They were later charged in ecclesiastical court. The Episcopal Diocese of Central New York refused to grant Sheese a license to perform priestly duties. In 1976, lawyer and New York State Assembly member Constance Cook acted as Sheese's advocate in filing a suit with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission EEOC, EEO, who issued a decision favoring Sheese. The General Convention of the Episcopal Church in the United States of America passed a resolution in July 1976 that, No one shall be denied access to ordination in the church based on gender in November 1976 Ned Cole the bishop who had blocked Sheese's ordination indicated that he would have her ordained in ceremonies to be held in January 1977 and in 1977 the church voted to permit the ordination of women Sheese was chaplain at Syracuse from 1976 to 1978 and at Cornell from 1978 to 1979 one of the first weddings where she officiated as priest was that of James Brule and Jill Woyler in 1975. Topic: <laughs> Later career. She's continued to advocate for change in the church. In 1983, she stated, "The churches still aren't thinking twice about women's well-being." She later became rector of Grace Episcopal Church in Mexico, New York and was a member of the New York Task Force on Life and Law. In 1985, Joseph Aganito portrayed her story in the documentary film Woman Priest, a portrait of the Rev. Betty Bone Sheese, p. 21 She was president of the International Association of Women Ministers. In 1994 she served on the governor of New York's Task Force on Bioethical Issues. That same year she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. In 2002 Sheese and tax resistor Margaret Rusk received the inaugural in the spirit of Gage Awards presented by the Matilda Jocelyn Gage Foundation. She is the author of the 2003 book Why Me, Lord? One Woman's Ordination to the Priesthood with Commentary and Complaint. Sheese lived in Cicero, New York until her death on October 20, 2017. Works Take Back the Church, Indeed the Witness 1982. 
Creativity and Procreativity, Some Thoughts on Eve and the Opposition and How Episcopalians Make Ethical Decisions 1988. Sheese, Betty Bone 2003. Why Me, Lord? One Woman's Ordination to the Priesthood with Commentary and Complaint 1st ed. New York, Syracuse University Press. ISBN 978-0-8156-0744-1. See also Ordination of women